And so it's a widely prevalent and misdiagnosed. Like abruption, it may enter in India. Ectopic, any dialogue with the ear. It's like that. We have to have the answer. So identity will be caused, it may not be here. So under research, pain disorder affected the women of all ages and ethnicities, and it negatively affects the women, physical, emotional, and sexual health, of course. A little bit historical background of this thing is that in the 1880s, and for the first time, Mr. Thomas, in order to have, it's a hydrosthesia of the body. Then he said there's an excessive sensibility of the nerves which are supplying to the uh, mucus membrane of some portion of the world. If you touch some part of it, the woman jumps on it. So sometimes it is confined to vestibule or sometimes a portion of maybe your labia major or on the Then 1888, the people talk about it and they say that this is a super sensitiveness of the woman. Skin, Mr. Skin. And skin is here. So the disease is characterized for the super sense of both of the inner genital femoral and the protective nerves. Furthermore, it's uh, like proper functioning of it relies on to the superficial and deep uh, pelvic floor muscles as well. Because if the muscles are having the problem, the woman, of course, she will have the pain disorders of pelvic So prevalence and incidence is again controversial. So according to the four independent studies which were conducted by the NIH, it was a population based studies and they found and they found that about three to seven percent of women will have the problem in their reproductive age. Then seven percent of the American women they have the symptoms of the liver dying at the age of the forty and which is, which significantly differs in different ethnicities. So it can be the pre-adolescent phase, maybe in adolescent, maybe the post adolescent So it can start in any age group. So annual incidence if they found, they found 3.1% of the women there are having this problem in a study which was conducted in 2012. And then more, than, uh, more recently, the incidence was 4.2 cases per 100 women years, and they found that the same age is at the squeeze and the bacteria. <coughs> So these are the risk factors we can say that they may be associated with the problem. Like neurogenic infections, oral contraceptive use, maybe the person who is having the genetic variability. And then this will a chronic pain and areas of the body, as we know, this is it all related to the pelvic disease and maybe random choices, maybe having some problems, who is giving the pelvic pain, they may be related to that and with the women, of course, they do have they do present with this problem. Autoimmune disorders they may uh, present like that. Sometimes allergies, allergic reactions to the women's genitals, infections, different sort of infections, they may be used. So early age of the intercourse, it may be the fear, it may be just the bad incidence of the life. You know, if somebody is having it, they also feel the fear of the intercourse. And, and, and they do not allow to touch the genitals. We have seen most of the women of you take the history, they have a bad experience in the Bajparani, which is Siva. So one should be given the time and exclude all those things. If somebody is not having all these cases, problems, then you can say that this is the case of the Siva. You know, early in our case sometimes, it's, it's like a hassle for a young baby. And she may present to you. And then childhood aneurysms, the women the child may have a long-term aneurysm. If you are thinking of the severe pain in the first stamp, if they start having, so adverse life experiences, as I said. So pathophysiology, if we look into it, we find that all the women are dying in pathophysiology, it remains in purpose. We do not find any problems behind it. So research supports the theory that the multiple mechanisms predisposes and trigger the perpetuate of disease. So heterogeneous mechanism based set groups demonstrate the variable degrees of the peripheral and the central nervous system, and that is the sensitization, the stimulant tissue, changes and the function. So when you go for the treatment and the diagnosis of such patient, of course your diagnosis and that also will be heterogeneous. We ate a method in the yoga. So the management would be, of course, very difficult. And you have to touch all of it. So first of all, we should classify the disease. 
ये बहुत लंबा टॉपिक लगता है आगे मैंने समझ लिया कि दरिया तो फ्रोजन में बन गया है उसमें आई ट्राई टू लिमिट माय डिसेंट्रेशन इट आई कैन नॉट अटेंड सो बल्बो टाइमिया इसकी टाइप्स हैं सो फर्स्ट इज दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू द लोकेशन इट मे बी जनरलाइज्ड सेवरल एरियाज ऑफ द बल्बो दैन मे बी मोर इन इट और इट मे बी द लोकलाइज्ड इट्स फास्ट पॉइंट मे बी वेस्टिबुलर इन द सम वे द वुमेन हैव द बी ठीक है एंड इट इज मे बी प्रोवोक और इट मे बी एंटर So the bulbul area that is having spontaneous in the cerebral, that is the bulbul areas, or and it's provoked, more no generalized, and then that is the bulbul area which is provoked. Again, we have to explain that we find that all of the areas, when we cross the area, we are calling the things will be attached and the woman will have the problem, shoulda. But in some times, in provoked, the woman doesn't have any problem, no issue. But as you just touch on the vestibular area. I should have it. So that is something which is important. It hurts. Then evaluation. How we can find it out? Now, after all the known cases, like infections, inflammatory condition, neoplastic conditions, all these things, all all are related to that with systemic diseases and there's other problems. Then you go for the same way of finding, like visual examination, like. Right? We do examine the woman with the inspection. If you have any any problem onto the skin, maybe that could be the problem. Cotton swab exam of the woman, and then you touch with the cotton. You take different areas. If she has a pain, so she will tell you that she is that's a painful place. Then new sensory areas. In this case, bath. I will tell you that you cotton bud has touched. You touch with the stick, and that's a fine touch. Then any variation of the pain, comorbidity, and Contributing factors you can find. Pelvic muscles, remember so only. Pelvic muscle floor evaluation is also very really important. Sometimes the woman is having after the childbirth. You know there is not a very good when you can do surgery. Is here. Usse baad then she develops the pain. Is ke best well to die or best to die. Is ka ek sab se aam baat hai ki kya na kare kya nahi hai. Je ani jaane. Ani you you need to have at least three months diagnosis after three months pain as well. So that is uh, the brain when you need to find it out the reason they have. So this is the case of the CTR edema in a patient one. The visual examination of inspection here, and then you find the moderate edema and minimal. But the woman may have the pain, severe pain with the minimal edema. There is nothing. Other than you find this no problem, the woman will have the severe pain. Then what you do? If this is the way, how you will cross it and find it out? Okay, this level of pain she is having. एक अपना यू विल टच विद द कॉटन स्ट्रैप वो जो आप आते हैं कॉटन बर्ड साथ में टच करके आप देखते हैं सॉफ्ट टच डिफाइनेड देन यू कैन टच इट विद द टेस्ट पे अब एलोडाइनिया एंड हाइपो हाइपर एल्जिसिया दिस आर द टर्म्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड एलोडाइनिया व्हेन दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हेन यू हैव द हाइपो दिस इट डू नॉट फील एनीथिंग हाइपर व्हेन इट्स टू मच राइट Then you go gently touching for all those areas. You want to see four, five, six here. So here, these are the nerves which are supplying, and you touch all of them, and you find the patient's response with that. Then you go for the assessment. That is the third step. On the third step, using the cotton swab, gently stroke. First, with the we stroke the area, right? You just go to each other. Okay, you have to speak here. And one, this is you are at the most most previous step. Then you are touching to the area in different parts, and then you are going to the second. Area. So this is what is a, uh, it's your somatic, somatic dermatomas, and I'm going to touch it. Then after that, then we go for the muscles, pelvic muscle, pelvic muscle. We call it like that. So we have the second axis. Okay, okay. And then we look for the other diseases, like the sensory areas. And if the woman is not having any problem with the cotton swab, then we can stroke with the swabbing so cement. You have broken it, and you touch with the the uh, fine CVC stick. Put it on the side. Then evaluation with the palpation. Yes, it. You put your finger, the next finger, into the vagina, and ask the patient to contract. And you can find if you touch any part, and the patient start feeling pain, and she doesn't allow you. Even if the person is having the problem with the vestibule, she will never let you to touch on that thing there. No matter that you have, the way that she will uh, stop you, will stop you. So please don't don't do that. So five is the evaluation of the pain, comorbidity, and contributing factors. 
What are those? It may be somebody who is having the problem of interstitial cystitis. It may be associated with heritable bowel syndrome and rheumatoid. As I said, these are diseases after diagnosis, after exposure, and all of the diseases. It may be orofacial pain that may be having fibromyalgia or something like that. So the treatment is very difficult. In fact, it's a generalized. It's like you either you have to identify the problem and you treat the problem, either you have to do the treatment and treatment comes right down in the middle of and which treatment is suitable to which patient, kitna usko kya milta hai, that varies from one person to another. So confidence of any individualized, multidisciplinary, viral, so psychosocial treatment approach for are selected after identifying the pelotonia subtypes. Whether this was a simple and whether it was a provoke. It provoked the mother, I mean, touch here, then the woman had the problem. Otherwise, she didn't have it. She was all right, right? And contributing factors. So, the treatment, of course, it based on that. So, the multidisciplinary treatment, how do you think? That results in a reduced pain level. We have to stop pain relief. The most important thing is that it is a very good thing. 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 <laughs> so I think when you are having the pain, the pain should be relieved. Which I remember that Roshan came back. I mean, thank you very much, Roshan. I'll give you a little bit. I'll give you a little bit. Thanks for coming. Thank you. 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 So this is also very important. Pain may too short that soon. We should relieve the pain of the person. Because the patient comes to you when she has a pain. And the one of the things that comes to you is that the pain is one instinct that is 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 the pain is one instinct. And they want to get relief out of it, right? So if you do not relieve the pain of somebody, then you will get a pain. So first of all, we must reduce the pain. If somebody is having active pain, right? Or if there is a sexual problem, then Dr. Shaheen and Nikhil had a comment that you had to give up, and you had to give up, and you had to give up. So that was the person who was having a vaginismus, having a pain in the pelvic area, and that means the improvement. And for that person, you need to increase the knowledge and improve the mood, psychosocial problem of the patient, and that is very important to get this done. So the treatment response, I said, it varies. Think among the patient, likely due to the heterogeneity of the underlying cause. You know, sometimes you find the cause, you can treat the cause, the patient's all right. Sometimes you do not find the cause, cause in the end. But there's a pain. You have to treat the pain. It can take many months to identify a treatment regimen. Can be a And that is helpful. But the majority of the women will improve with a treatment or very good periods of the time. Then remission rates we are paying. Sometimes without any treatment, we are not able to do it. We are not able to do it. But we are not able to do it. So remission rate is different around the women. So underscoring of the heterogeneity of the liver dynamia and the remission and the remission and it may occur sometimes without the problem. Oral pain blocking medication. Five cyclic antidepressants we can try many of them are things like SSRI, maybe important problem. Topical, sometimes you may need to give the topical, either a single active integrating or a combination, aesthetic, and you present some two things in the back of the day. This contribution of the oral contraceptives, then we must say, okay, this is maybe one of the reasons of having the pain, oral contraceptive. Of the time, the piece of SSRI is needed. But I studied in it that oral contraceptive that may be one of the reasons was causing the pain of that. So that may be uh, it may be because of the estrogen formation may be one of the reasons. And they said sometimes we need to put some pain. So topical use of the benzoin and the dihydrogenes they also should be they should be avoided. Another thing is that some of the drugs which are used topically will go up Thank you.
important people, and you must refer the patient for the family to a physiotherapy for persons having pain. So if biofeedback the training trigger points in the actions and use of the regular dilator, then bath training team Luna. Luna people to bath there, that it's available now. You don't get it. And it's available onto the grass there. But, but we have not tried, but the people say that this is also very important and helpful. So it's, it can be helpful in women who also exhibit the bad flow uh, and normalities. The second is the lower dose of the Botox. Some, some time you may need to do the Botox. Botox is a terrible thing, but here also people try it. And this was trying to reduce the pain because the nerves who are supplying to that area may be uh, given this trial and they put on the Oral medication use and improve the quality of life in a retrospective study of the 19. So they did the study of the patients because it's a rare disease. So rare may come me, in fact, I need to find them there. So you need to check the patient to go to a mother, including the criteria, and have to seek a treatment and discuss this. Now block some time to Daniela. You may need to block some time to Daniela. So there are limited studies at that point. Two procedures, surgical procedures are taken for the case of Sydney, but this is also very limited. One of the few cases where somebody has that. And treatment for the topical steroids you may get for the improvement sometimes is worsening. It's not very helpful. Neogen, there is cutaneous drugs, they may be used. Uh, but the studies are very limited. Eight eight double cases for the chronic care, which will report here, and this is and this is and Because this is not very much time study and very much, not very much a nice study. Subcutaneous steroids, anesthetic uh, infections, and sometimes. Actually, we have a very common drug here. I remember there is some uh, Madam Ushka, uh, when we were born into the pains. Yadar Mahate, Kathleen, she discussed about the uh, vaginal diazepam. She said to uh, Ashayna uh, Abhidhikta, diazepam is the same tablet. Ah, diazepam. And then we were uh, surprised about it, okay, how a diazepam is going to relieve the pelvic pain. She said if somebody is having a severe pain, and you do not know what to do with that to pen, it's my own diazepam use here. So the tablet diazepam, you dissolve it and you put it in the vagina. So this was uh, the idea she threw. And then it's my product case cases. Initial case studies, they showed that the decrease liberator, decrease uh, liberator and muscle pain, and then again vulgar pain. So here is an uncertain whether its effect is local or systemic. Um, but this is important. Yes, but she said, yeah, in the Kana Chari, okay, 2016, I mean, we see one case to Samba. They were very trying to be there. I was so generally, I was so generally, I was so generally, I was so generally, जी और उसको आपने बेलियों के नाम से जाती है उसको आपने क्रश करके विद जेल मिक्स करके लगा दें इट इज इफेक्टिव बट वी हैव इंजेक्शंस अवेलेबल व्हाई कैन वी हैव देम एंड गुड देम ऑन कॉटन वी हैव इंजेक्शंस अवेलेबल हम गुड की तो सब बनाए हैं मस्सा है स्पेशली वो जो क्या आपको कॉटन में सोप करके रख दीजिए Experimental management by liquid time receptor and tablets we try to give them 
and the people tried nitroglycerin, the people tried capsin, the people tried aspirin injections. Okay, these are all the drugs which were tried for to reduce the pain and relieve the pain of the patient in you know, cases of the verbal diarrhea. Summary of the disease or of the talk is it's a disease. Number one of exclusion. Rule out the local and the systemic causes which can cause the pain. And there are the two common types which are the of the verbal diarrhea. to generalize and the other is localized. And these subtypes will not be able to spike the location. Or it is unprovoked, spontaneous, and it may be mixed. So assessment by the five points as I discussed: visual contact, exam, sensory exam, and the pelvic muscle evaluation. And evaluation of the pain, co-morbidity, uh, contributing factors it should be done. And the treatment plan it depends on the identifiable cause. And then there is the multidisciplinary treatment here, which results in the reduced pain level. Improvement in the sexual functioning as well as increased pain knowledge, improved mood and psycho sexual well being of others. Madam, what is the difference between vaginismus and vulvo diarrhea? Yes. I will refer this question to my dentist. Treatment options are same. Botox. I am getting something related to sexual vulvo Sexual activity is organic causes. Organic causes. Activity. And vulvodynia is without any sexual activity. Vaginismus, the problem in which the woman is having. Yes. Number one, it's difficult to diagnose with the woman. Yes. Many problems are common in the vaginismus. Yes. Because we have to find out the impact. So, for our case, it's a common term of vaginismus. Okay. Other people infertility patients are the the thing is that if you go in deep detail, then you will come to know that it's not the vaginismus. This means that there was spasm of the vaginal muscles or a stevedia stable So this is my last uh, 
आंसर तो क्वालिफाइंग क्वेश्चन से बीबी अगर तुम्हें शिफा देनी है ना कुछ देनी है मैं नहीं आई एम गिविंग यू द ट्रीटमेंट जो ट्रीटमेंट अवेलेबल है जिसका मुझे इल्म है जो मेरे इख्तियार में है उसके आगे क्या करती है वो ट्रीटमेंट तुम्हें शिफा मिलती है या करती है ये करने ऊपर से लेता सो इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू जो हम भूल जाते हैं जी बीइंग इन प्रैक्टिस या हम भूल जाते हैं शिफा आप नहीं देते मैडम मेरा क्वेश्चन ये पेशेंट अगर अलाउ ही नहीं कर एग्जामिन करने को कहती मैं हाथ भी नहीं लगाने दूंगी टच भी नहीं करने दूंगी देखने भी नहीं दूंगी फिर हम कैसे डायग्नोज करें ठीक है ठीक है Now we have our presenter on Zoom, Dr. Saida Banu, professor and head of the Department of Obstetrics.